Hello and welcome to our channel. Now this video will tell you how the cast of 1976 was happening has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1976 and now in 2022 how they changed from being on the sitcom. Alright, let's go. Haywood Nelson in the sitcom he played Drain Nelson, the youngest member of the trio. In 1976, he was 16 years old and now he's 62 years old. I'll perk up, Shirley. Think of it this way. It's not the end of a job, it's the beginning of a new life with nothing to do. Was that stupid? Mm-hmm. It let us improv and do what we do. Oh, so you'd improv? Uh, quite a bit. Nice. You know, the writers were tight. They were a good thing, but we knew how to take it and bring that, that extra something to it. Ernest Thomas in the sitcom he played Roger Raj Thomas a teenager living in Watts with his divorced mother Mabel and sister Dee. In 1976, he was 27 years old, and now he's 73 years old. Ah, that's because your surprise test is only a surprise for the morning classes. By the time the afternoon classes get in here, they have been warned, so they get all the decent marks. You know, so when you go to the South, even if it's a white kid, you say, yes, sir, no, sir. So in that sense, yeah, you know, and I was an asthmatic for 18 years. Fred Berry in the sitcom he played Freddy Rerun Stubbs. He was 25 years old in 1976, and sadly on October 21st, 2003, Berry was found dead at his home in Los Angeles, where he was recovering from a stroke. Enjoy the life of 52 years. Across the floor so that they may roll into a six. You see what I mean? Yeah. No. This, man, this is America. I still think this is, a, you know, it's the greatest country in the world that you can still live out your dreams and your goals if you go for it. Danielle Spencer in the sitcom she played Dee Thomas, Raj's younger sister. In 1976, she was seven years old, and now she is 53 years old. Well, of course, honey. Good, because even though we fight. I like Roger, and I don't want to be here when you tell me he has to babysit and can't go to the park. Accumulate in their little urethra, it makes them unable to urinate. In that case, it's an emergency and the vet can unblock them. You definitely want to get them in uh, relatively quickly for that. Mabel King in the sitcom she played Mabel Thomas, Roger and Dee's divorced mother. She was 44 years old in 1976, and it was with great sadness that she passed away on November 9, 1999 at the age of 66. I missed that party, and he doesn't need any trouble from you. Yes, mama. And stay out of that peanut butter jar. Your tongue's gonna stick to the roof of your mouth and never come down. <laughs> Shirley Hamfield in the sitcom she played the role of Shirley Wilson, a waitress at the neighborhood soft drink store Rob's Place. In 1976, she was 20 years old, and it was with great sadness that on December 10, 1999, Hamfield was found dead at her home in West Covina, California, at the age of 52. I mean, I thought you had more sense, especially you, than to go hunting for some money. Just look, look at the furniture, look, look at it, and look at the staff. Oh, oh, don't, don't mess this. Look at this rug. They buried him in some barrel with some mashed potatoes. But girl, if I had had my way, I was going to cremate him extra crispy. Because I know he would have loved it that way, girl. Huh? Debbie Morgan in the sitcom she played Diane, another classmate of Roger, Drain, and Rerun. In 1976, she was 20 years old. And now she's 66 years old. Dwayne, thanks for all your help in geometry. I've passed. Oh, come on, why you gotta do that? How, how do you do? You're new at school, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Autobiography. I saw that back in the 50s and the 60s, if uh, one was trying to kick a heroin addiction, they would say, oh God, I gotta get this monkey off my back. Earl Billings in the sitcom he played Rob, the owner of Rob's Place and the boss of Shirley. In 1977, he was 32 years old and now he's 77 years old. I'm a poor person trying to make good. Now, I'm warning you, either you come here tomorrow to work, or I don't want to see you in here again, not even as a customer. Bringing the things you need and, the, and pushing down the ones you don't. Yeah. Other thing is that your own sense of um, humanity, your own sense of, of people you know that you can incorporate in this. 
Slim Gallard in the sitcom he played the role of Al. In 1979, he was 68 years old, and it was with great sadness that he passed away on February 26, 1991, at the age of 80. Everybody free! I thought I, I thought I was supposed to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't. No, that, 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 that's all right, Al. You get an avocado, put a nail in it and a string on it, then you nail it to the ceiling and let it vault for a while. <laughs> Thomas Rasulala in the sitcom he played Bill Thomas, Mabel's ex-husband and Roger and Dee's father. In 1976, he was 37 years old, and it was with great sadness that Rasulala died of leukemia on October 9, 1991, at the age of 51. I hope I didn't put you out. <sighs> no, no, nonsense, Mabel, it's all right. Besides, it gave me a chance to spend some extra time with Roger and Dee. Oh, look, Mabel, I'd like to help you out with a few dollars. Fritzi Burr in the sitcom she played Miss Collins. She was 53 years old in 1977, and it was with great sadness that Burr passed away in Fort Myers, Florida of natural causes on January 17, 2003 at the age of 78. No A's and only one B. One single B. I'm ashamed of the rest of you. <laughs> Not funny, F minus. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next videos.